Hi guys, um, so it's been a very hot week for Melbourne last week actually. It's cooled down quite a lot now but because the weather is looking good today I figured, you know, I'm just going to film my review today instead of having um, dark lighting because I like to use natural light. Yeah. <laughs> So today, I will be reviewing The Girl Who Circumnavigated, circumnavigated Fairyland in A Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Volante. And this is the first book in the Fairyland series. And I think, I'm pretty sure that there, have, there are already three out. Um, and it is a modern day fairy tale about a girl who... Name, about a girl whose name is September and she gets swept away by this wind and enters fairyland and discovers the world meets a lot of creatures including this one here and you will and everyone's gonna call it a dragon but t I'm telling you now it's not a dragon um don't doubt me and she ends up making a lot of friends and going on her own adventures um and it really really um reminded me of and it was really funny because as soon as I thought I, that as soon as I thought of what he reminded me of, um, it happened to be at the back with the questions because there were questions for um, Catherine, and she answered them and she said that he was an influence by those things. Basically, she based the heroine on Alice, Wendy, and Dorothy um, from Dorothy from Lion, the Witch, and the War. No, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Alice from Alice in Wonderland and Wendy from Peter Pan and it really did remind me of um, The Wizard of Oz and certain aspects of Alice in Wonderland as well so I thought that I picked that up really well. Um, she certainly puts a lot of elements in there that really reminded me of that so I think she did really well in that era. area. I've, I grew to love Catherine's writing in Deathless and that was also a modern day fairy tale but this one has more that one was more of an adult sort of fiction to it this is very suitable for younger readers it's an amazing novel uh, just a really great adventure book that has just some like a really sweet heroine and a really amazing world that has been built include a fairyland to me sounds like a great place to live in all the creatures that are there um, we've never been introduced to before so props to Catherine for <clears throat> creating these creatures and and I don't want to mention them because I thought that was the fun of the entire novel and um, you know traveling with S September and then meeting all those creatures that she um, later be friends and all those creatures that I felt like were sort of really they had a different magical element to them because we've always heard of dragons and fairies, yada yada yada, but um, Catherine, just, you know, has these different creatures in there that adds to the magical plot and it enhances it a lot because it's something unique, something that I've never heard about and that's why I liked it a lot. I found that it was the characters, the way that Catherine wrote and the world that she built that really made the story. Other than that, I think the plot, the plot, why, like... The plot wasn't that great, um, at some points it did move quite slow and at others it was sort of drawn out a bit I guess. Um, the adventures were great but I wasn't too, like I don't remember a lot of the, about the adventures which says a lot because sometimes when I read a fairy tale I like to remember what happens in there like Alice in Wonderland, I love that. But in this one, you know, it's a bit... I think it takes a while to warm towards it, but because it's a series, I hope that there's a lot more that are in book two and three, and book one was just, you know, sort of like a taste of what we're going to get for the entire series. Catherine's writing is absolutely perfect for fairy tales. She's got this really whimsical way of writing, and in this one, it really sounds like a narrator is narrating to you, like, um, you know, your mum's reading to you at night. Um, very much like Peter Pan, I'm, I guess, and um, and I really liked that about this one. It's very sort of like it's something nice to read before bed because then you feel like you're gonna be dreaming about Fairyland once you finish finish reading it. I managed to finish this in probably a day or two um, because it's pretty it's pretty much a really short read, but at the same time, I think 
what pulled me through was the writing especially with and like I mentioned the world building um, from the moment that she enters fairyland to when she, like to the very end you always get this really descriptive overview of how fairyland looks like where the places that September goes to what that place looks like and just in general like it's really easy to picture it out in your mind I would love for this book to probably be like you know the next generation's fairy tales um I know it's a pretty thick novel for a fairy tale and that that it is a series but I just think it would be great for young readers I really think they'll enjoy it especially September and her little friends um September makes for a lot more than just a heroine I think she embodies just the entire characteristic of just a young child and that's why it really reflects um with me and i can sort of relate to the younger version of me and i think younger children will also relate really well and that they won't get bored while reading it and with also also with the mystical elements um it makes for a, a lot more of an interesting read and because i grew up with a lot of like you know alice in wonderland um Peter Pan, Narnia and all that stuff, I found that it really <laughs> helped my imagination and I think this is also a really great novel to introduce to young um, readers who are starting out to read um, just to help them develop, you know, the imagination, help them try and create these images that um, Catherine Ru tries to give to us and just help them um, continue to read along the way. The similarities between uh, Alice in Wonderland and The Wizard of Oz in this novel didn't really put me off. I think it worked well. It blended really well. Just because it wasn't like an exact copy, there were certain elements that worked in the other stories that she um, put into here, but then like you know mixed it together and it made for a um, fairy tale that she describes as something that she wished she had read, but sort of lacked in the other ones. So she popped them all together into this book which I think is pretty reasonable I mean she's not stealing the ideas it's more that she's incorporating um, bits that she really liked and then developing her own story I'm definitely going to be checking out the second book it's already on its way I ordered it um I think that it it's very much an enjoyable light read um, you know you just sit down one afternoon and you're good to go and even though I did say that the plot really didn't draw me in, the ending sort of made up for most of it. I think the ending carried out a really good message. It certainly this was a plot twist and I did not expect it. So I think that um, added to the novel, you know, the element of surprise, which kept me sort of um, hooked to read the second novel. There isn't really much of a cliffhanger. I suppose like if this could probably be just a standalone if you wanted it to be but because I know it's a series um, I decided to read the second novel just because I think uh, well I hope that it will get a lot better and also because I really love the covers they're so cute um, so yeah in the end I will give this a four out of five because of how well done I think Catherine did with the novel and because I was really reminded a lot of my childhood and I don't know and I just want to thank Catherine because she put me back into fairy tales and I haven't read a modern fairy tale until I started reading her novels. Um, if you want to see my death list review I'll have a link to it in the bottom below. Do read that one as well because I thought that one was really really good. Um, do check this one out because I think it's a novel that everyone like will enjoy, sort of like as an inter like a humor, like a humorous entertainment. And yeah, that is all for today. I shall see you guys next time. Bye.